हेलो एवरीवन आई एम शिवानी एंड वेलकम टू सिविल सीरीज सो दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ टेस्ट सीरीज सिक्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी कवर्ड द टेन क्वेश्चंस ऑफ स्टील स्ट्रक्चर एंड द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चंस आर कवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो If you haven't attempted the test up till now, then the link of Telegram channel is given in the description and in the comment section. Join that Telegram channel; you'll get the access of six test series there. And if the link from the description and comment section doesn't work, then the link is also available in the community section. And let's start with the question. The next question, question number eleven: High tensile steel usually contains dash percentage of carbon. and dash percentage of manganese so there are three tensile steel first one is low tensile steel second one is medium tensile steel third one is high tensile steel so in case of low tensile steel the percentage of carbon is 0.3% for medium 0.3 to 0.6% and for high carbon 0.6 to 0.85% and this 0.6 and 0.85% is given is given in the first and second option but for the manganese the percentage is 0.7 to 1% in case of high tensile steel so third option is correct here then then question number 12 drawing operations involved in mechanical treatment of steel is carried out there are different operations in case of mechanical treatment of steel there are forging then pressing and rolling so these are the different operation drawing is also one of the operation in case of drawing this drawing is used to reduce the cross section and increase the length so here the first option is correct the next question question number 13 the lacing shall be designed to resist transfer shear which is vt and this transfer shear is equals to 2.5% of axial load on column so first option is correct here then question number 14 for less column minimum width of lacing bar when using 20 mm diameter rivet is for rivet and bolted connection the concept of minimum width of lacing bar is similar so for the here we consider for the bolted connection because rivet is not in the bmc syllabus so for the bolted connection the minimum width of the lacing bar minimum width of the lacing bar is 3 times the nominal diameter is 3 times the nominal diameter so here the given nominal diameter is 20 mm so the maximum width of the lacing bar is 3 into 20 60 mm so here second option is correct Then question number fifteen: The batten plates used to connect the component of a built-up column designed to resist. The batten plates are used to design to resist the shear force and bending movement. So this both the shear force and bending movements are resisted by batten. So here in the third option, shear and movement, both options are given. So third option is correct here. That longitudinal shear and movement arising from the transverse shear. The next question. Question number sixteen: The plies plate for a steel column is generally designed as. So the ply space is designed as a short column. So first option is correct here. Then question number seventeen: The wind load calculation K denotes. So for the wind load calculation, the formula is V Z equals to V D K one K two K three. So here V Z is design wind speed, V D is basic wind speed, K is nothing but a risk factor, K two is a terrain factor, K three is the topography factor. Okay, so here they ask about the K one. So for K one, risk factor is the correct option. The third option is correct here. So how to remember K one, K two, and K three? So there is one trick that risk leke. Terrain topography के लिए गया. That K1 is a risk, K2 is a terrain, and K3 is the topography. The risk लेके terrain topography के लिए गया. The next question, question number 
short section of wood or steel nailed screwed or bolted to the rafters of the truss for supporting the purlins is known as so in the previous question i mentioned that for supporting purlins we use clits okay so clits are given in the fourth option fourth option is correct here so we'll discuss about the remaining options so batten batten here in this diagram here is a batten so batten is used to fix the ties okay batten form a one kind of a structure which is used to fix the ties or the wooden structure or any kind of ties to fit into the sloping surface batten we use then next is ridge ridge is the topmost part of this sloping surface then next use so use is the bottom most part of the truss which is used to cover the rain water the next is question number 19 the slenderness of bracing member should not exceed so the slenderness of bracing member should not exceed 120 so here third option is correct next question and last question 20 what is the partial safety factor for material when resistance governed by yielding as per is 800 2007 okay there is one chart to remember the partial safety factor so there is one trick to remember this chart so first first in the column y b and u yielding buckling and ultimate stress okay yielding resistance to yielding then buckling and then ultimate stress and next is connection okay there are four parameters in the first column first is y b u and c yielding buckling ultimate and connection for yielding the partial safety factor is 1.1 for buckling 1.1 and for ultimate stress 1.25 okay up to this clear the next connection in the connection bolt friction then bolt bearing then rivet and last one is weight in the connection four part first bolt friction bolt bearing third rivet fourth one is weight in the four two sections are there first one is for the shop second is for the field in case of a shop the value is 1.25 for all four and in case of field the value is 1.25 for all three but for the remaining which is weld weld in case of field the partial safety factor is 1.5 so this is not this is nothing but a chart for the partial safety factor how to remember that in the first column three things are there which is y b u yield buckling and ultimate stress values are 1.1 1.1 and 1.25 in the next section connection is there in connection four sections are there first one is friction then bearing rivet and weight in the four sections two separate sections are there for shop and fillet weld in case of shop values are 1.25 in case of fill values are 1.25 except weld okay in case of weld the value is 1.5 so in this question the answer for the resistance governed by yielding is nothing but 1.1 so first option is correct here so this is all about the detailed explanation of steel structure test so thank you for watching and stay tuned